Mlayo. Huh? Mlayo Kumalo. You have a blood clot on your head. Confirmed by your doctor. Yes, Is it correct? Papa. Yes, Papa. All right. Which doctor confirmed it? I go to the scan. You went to the scan? Yes. And it was confirmed? Yes. And what is the cause of the blood on your, on your head? What's the Something terrible was going on in my head. I was have, having some shootings inside my brain. Like my skull was cracking. I can hear my skull is cracking. I can hear the sound of my skull. And I hear my nose, some, some noise through my ears. Then it blows inside my brain. So these were the symptoms prior to going to this scan? They said I've got brain attack. Okay. Now, what is the cure? They said I've got a lot of blood clots from my head to my heart. So there's nothing they could do about it? They gave me medication. Medication. Yes. Is the medication going to bring the cure? Are you on the medication, or what? What was the state of your condition? What was the? Uh, is is the med medication support? They said I'm, I'm lucky to be alive. I should have been, just gone. But you you uh, you come to this ministry. Yes. Yes. You yes. Have, you should have told them that it's, yes. it's not luck. It's it's not luck. Please, don't you ever think that what happens here is luck. When, when, when we say life is yours, incorruption is yours. It's not a joke. Let me clear the blood. Listen, listen to this. Need you to go first thing tomorrow and scan your head first thing tomorrow. If you see an atom of blood in your brain, eh, don't come back to this church. Are you hearing me? <laughs> It's cleared. Perfect evening, Papa. Perfect evening, Mama. Perfect evening, sons of God. My name is Mlayo. I came here to testify about what I experienced about headache. Not knowing that I was having brain attack. I usually have the pain of normal headache all the time. Up to on the, during December, I was still having some dizziness all the time and can't walk straight. Papa did call us after service and say whoever who has got business must come, then I will pray for them. Then I thought maybe it's a normal headache. On the mid-January, I started to feel very strange. There was no pain in my head, but what I had, it was a war inside, the, inside my head. Official thought it was like shooting wind. Sometimes I feel like my head is empty. There's nothing inside my head. It comes through my ears, blowing inside to my head. Then I felt like I can just close my eyes and my brain will be off. I couldn't know, I didn't know what was that. But before I experienced that, I dreamed about a school fresh one from shoulders to to head it was fresh one but it was a lot of brain scattered all over i couldn't understand the dream what was that as i am facing the school that skeleton behind there was funeral people were shaking each other saying because it was a funeral but i didn't know what was that as I was confused seeing that brain, all those bra brains scattered full of blood and that skeleton, when I turned around, I heard the, some footstep from, it was Papa. He just lift up the curtain and walk inside where I was lying down. He told me that I must pray. I must lift up my hands 
as I did because when I wake up, my hands were up for really. Then Papa left. Suddenly there was a woman came and direct me in a dark place. And then when I asked how could I go in a dark place, Mama came and switched on the light for me. So the headache continued and it was becoming bad up to until on the 29 when I visited to the scan because I was having some shooting left and right, left and right and blowing inside. I couldn't understand what was going on. Then when I get to the doctor for the scan, they were so surprised that I'm walking, that I'm still alive. They said I was supposed to be, I, I should have been dead by now, according to the results from the scan. So it's only grace from the God that keep me going because it's abnormal. Everything was abnormal. My kidneys affect my kidneys, my liver, my lungs, everything was about to collapse. So when I asked the doctor what was the case, he said the blood was not flowing from my brain. That's why I was feeling those war inside my brain, shootings and wind inside. And it was about to close my my ears up to my brain then maybe I was keep praying but I couldn't want to put any pressure to my head because of it was my school was my school my head school was cracking there was noise and I couldn't even want to shake my head because of the noise what is happening like there is something happening in my brain of which I couldn't understand so on Tuesday last week when I came here, Papa prayed for me. After Papa prayed for me, I felt light because my boat was heavy. My boat was heavy. I couldn't even manage to move my body. It was too heavy. After he prayed for me, I felt light. I felt I shook my head because I wasn't even moving my head because of I was scared that anything might happen. But after men of God prayed for me, I get healed one touch from God. After the results, when the doctors gave it to me, I asked them, how is my results? So they said everything came back to normal. Everything which was abnormal came back to normal. Your blood is flowing from your brain. Your blood is circulation. Your circulation blood is doing very well. They were happy about that. My kidneys also, the numbers of my kidneys were back to normal. My lungs and my liver was, everything was perfect. And my high blood pressure, which was bad, everything went back to normal after men of God pray for me. I would just want to say to God, thank you for Saint Papa in Cape Town. Otherwise, I should have been lose my life if, pap if if it wasn't Papa. I thank God for turning every situation that is death into my life to life. I would like to thank you, Papa and Mama, for all declarations, all the teachings. Because end of January, I was having my plans. My plans was to, I joined to be a partnership for seven months with Papa. I didn't know that Satan also was, he, he, has got planned for me, of which at the end of the, the day, God was, is the boss. I'm alive now. I want to specially invite every one of you to please join me on our YouTube account, um, Facebook account, Instagram account, and every possible social media. We're there. Pastor John Anosike. Hallelujah. Please join me. You will be blessed this year. So much revelations, so much visions, so much word, so much healing and miracles and manifestations and ascension into the realms of God shall be your witness this year. Guess, guess what? God is about to do amazing things this year. So join me on all of our social platforms and you will be blessed, especially YouTube, Facebook, 
Instagram, and TikTok, and every other ones. And God bless you. Join us for worship every Sunday. First service, 7 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. Second service, 10 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. School of Revelation, our Bible study at 6 p.m. A time of in-depth study of God's Word. It's time to come to the knowledge of truth and grow in revelation with the bondservant of Christ, John Anosike. Healing Nights with Jesus, every Tuesday at 6 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. An atmosphere of miracles where the man of God takes time to minister to different cases. Christ remains the solution to every problem of man. Venue, 416 Bortrecker Road, Maitland, Cape Town, South Africa. Telephone, plus 2721-510-4029. WhatsApp, plus 2763-423-5895.